my read of the literature is very different than this. If you look at the EPA data from 2014 and 2017 in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, cattle produce 1.8% of the greenhouse gas emissions in the United States per year, 1.8%, which is less than, significantly less than the greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture. And the biggest three polluters, transportation, production of fossil fuels, burning of fossil fuels, and industry and technology. So that's more than three, but I kind of broke those up into different things. But if you look at the relative contributions, you know, like outside of agriculture, so plant agriculture is about 5% of greenhouse gas emissions per year in the U.S. Animal agriculture is about 4% of that cows are 1.8. So about 90% of greenhouse gas emissions are non-agriculture, right? We all have to eat. There has to be some ecosystem around food, but only 10% of greenhouse gases come from food. 90% of greenhouse gases come from things that we're doing that are lifestyle driven, right? Cars, burning fossil fuel, technology, like to, to, I I just wanted to make sure you were aware of this data because when people make statements like that, they're eating plant-based for the environment, I kind of bristle and think that's a mistake from all the data that I've seen. And then the, the other point that I would add is if you're aware of something called regenerative agriculture, which is ecosystems agriculture, where cows are grazing on land in an ancestrally consistent manner, they can actually sequester more carbon into the soil than they produce. So regenerative agriculture can sequester carbon into the environment. It's carbon negative. So raising more ruminants on this planet that are raised that way from farms like white oak pastures decreases carbon in the environment. So I have a shirt that I always wear and I didn't wear it today. Um, it's, it says, eat meat, save the planet. Like, you know, if you were to eat meat from White Oak Pastures, which is down in Georgia, and you should come, December 14th and 15th, we're going to be in, in Georgia. I know you're a busy guy, but like you should check out White Oak Pastures. They're carbon negative. They had a life cycle analysis by USC. They sequester more carbon into the soil than they produce. So if we support farms like that, we can decrease overall all greenhouse gases. So this notion that by not eating meat, we are somehow saving the planet. I, I would argue against that. What What is your feeling about that? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not totally against meat, but just to take the opposite view, um, there are other considerations such as water usage and land usage and uh-huh. degradation of the land. And the fact that these are actually conscious beings that, that we breed. Uh, and I, I come from a family where, you know, my wife is an animal lover and all that. So it's, you know, I've eaten meat most of my life, so I'm not against it. Um, it's just all the combination of other things that have been around, including the research that I've been doing, led me to uh, this stance that I have currently. Uh, but I'm, I'm a scientist. I'm happy to be convinced otherwise. If you look at the water usage, the way that water usage for cattle is, is calculated, they incorporate... 90% of the water usage or 95% of the water usage of cows is rainwater. That's what they're saying the cows are producing. It's rainwater. It's already falling on the land. I'll send it to you on Instagram. I reposted this graphic yeah. from Diana Rogers and Sacred Cow. So water usage claims for cattle are widely inaccurate, widely misinterpreted because of the rainwater that's falling on the soil. It's very clear that almonds use way more water than cows do. And then what cows about- are- what you should do is compare, uh, and this would be this would be pretty scandalous. But if Beyond Meat was oh, they wor- they are worse. They're worse. Beyond Meat is also worse than regular meat in terms of carbon emissions. This has been done. They've done a life cycle analysis on Beyond Meat. It's worse than regular meat. It's worse than White Oak Pastures because White Oak Pastures is carbon negative. So by buying these these, I mean, when people are plant based and they say I'm not eating meat to save the environment, and they are buying Impossible Burgers they are contributing more to greenhouse gas emissions than they would if they supported regenerative agriculture with real cows. Now, the land use is a different story. That's a whole separate conversation that we can have. I did a podcast with Peter Ballerstead. Most Most of the land that cattle are on is not even farmable land. And again, I'm really an advocate for a way of raising cattle that doesn't allow them to destroy the land. They just, they get rotationally grazed. And that's, that's, so those are my takes on that. 